know I have an older son named Carrie on Franklin. And I'm up away, man. I'm speaking for uh, Kurt Franklin. Many of you know that my son, a weak-ass bitch, he do shit like this. An older son named Carrie on Franklin. In May, he'll be 30. He says, Dan at 30, Dan at 34, don't have a girlfriend, don't have a kids. I don't know if he gay or what. He, he, I don't even know, man. He don't even know what the fuck he want to do with himself or his life, bro. But we trying, bro. You know. We trying. Three. For many years, we have had a toxic relationship with him as a family. For many years, I tried to show his bitch ass how to be a man. But he want to keep acting like his mama. I told his bitch ass mama this bullshit was going to happen, bro. Once we come into some money. But, this is, but her stupid ass didn't want to listen. We've tried for many years through counseling, through therapy, to try to rectify. We tried all the white people shit. But what we should have did is just went hood, ghetto, and just beat the shit out of them, bro. To a pole. Not kill him. But just we we should have whooped his ass when he first came out, bro. White people shit don't work. This private family matter. It's none of your fucking business. But his bitch ass link it out, and I gotta sit up here and apologize to some people I don't even fuck with. Recently, my son and I had an argument that he chose to record. I told my son what to do. He didn't want to listen, and he just thought he was going to keep getting some money out of him. So fuck him. I told him he can't get no more goodies out of Kirk Franklin. I felt extremely disrespected in that conversation, and I lost my temper. Like I said, I felt disrespected from a little motherfucker that came by my nutsack, bro. And he just thought it was cool for him to say whatever, do whatever, bro. So I told him what it is, nigga. I got a hood on this nigga. And I said words that are not appropriate. It wasn't appropriate for you, but it was appropriate for him. Bitch ass nigga. He is a bitch. And I'm sincerely sorry to all of you. I'm not sorry to all of you. I don't even fucking know you to be sorry. But since I'm this holy ideal man, fuck it. I'm sorry that my son a bitch ass nigga. I sincerely apologize. I, want I really don't. I want you to know as a father that during that conversation, I called the family therapist. And got I called my other partners. I called it. I I I I, I called the, my wife. Sad work, baby daddy, husband, whoever the fuck this nigga it is. I called all the guys. I called all the homies. I called I, I, I called some folks. From Chicago, I called some people from LA. See, I, I ain't try to get uh big you on the phone. I see, I, I I tried to rectify this shit. I, I I couldn't find nobody to talk to this little motherfucker. He too old. I got that therapist on the phone to try to help. Once again, we tried to do the white people shit. I should have just stayed black in the hood and just beat this nigga ass. You know, I should have did it when he's the baby. Fuck it, it's cool. He never played that part. Of course, he ain't going to play the part when I was telling his ass the truth. He wanted me to get out of character to show the world who the fuck I really am. And I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. Shit just happened. That shit needed to. I'm not perfect. I'm human and I'm going to make mistakes and I'm trying to get it right. Shit, look, man, I'm just a nigga. Just playing a good nigga on television, bro. But it is what it is, man. You know, I'm motherfucking Kurt Franklin. I don't, I don't, I don't need, it. I don't need this shit from nobody. You know, and fuck you if you don't feel me. Fuck, fuck if I use follows. I don't even give a fuck no more, man. I'm tired of sitting up here singing with makeup on. My bad. Hold on. Please keep me and my family in your prayers. I don't give a fuck if you don't pray or don't. I'ma discipline my old ass son how I feel. The nigga is grown. He wanna play big and tough. I'm about to show his ass. I'm about to rectify that ass.
dare you. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Shut the fuck up. I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. What type of weak ass nigga record his daddy talking shit to him? Bro, I ain't never did no shit like that. Man, fuck, first of all, my daddy ain't never been in my life. This nigga tried to come back as I was getting older. You know, but man, come on, man. That's all disrespect. This nigga weak as hell, but this what happen when you raise your son, you raise your kids like white people. You gotta deal with shit like this. Who the fuck think it's cool, bro, to record their parents talking shit to them, bro? What type of weak ass sperm you is, bro, to do some shit like that? What type of grown man you is to do some shit like that? Hollywood.